Guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be from LA Land. Also from the winner's bracket, the initial stages. Royal Blue starting the upper right corner as the Blue Terran. Very appropriate. Bottom left corner, we have Shafir starting as the Orange Protoss. Now, Shafir, I've seen. He is a solid Protoss player. I've seen him in, I believe, Chobo League of BSL and also playing in CPL and some other spaces. He's, I would say, a solid up and comer. Not sure what shape he's in at the moment. Royal Blue, I am unfamiliar with. But because this is LA land, I'm just going to assume that Royal Blue is a solid player. And also looking at the APM, yeah, definitely a solid player initially. It's a good player. You know, because APM is an automatic determiner of uh, who will win games. This is on Polypoid. You know it. And I'm kind of, a, I'm going to dote on Shafir a little bit here, which will be embarrassing if he loses. <laughs> but I'm actually uh, really, oops, got my camera a little messed up there. I'm actually really excited about Shafir. Because really shown some solid play as far as a new Protoss up-and-comer, and I really like seeing people... It, it's one of these guys that, in a year or two, him and trying to think of other players, father, another guy, up-and-comer. Like, they're players that I think are going to be solid down the lines, and it's nice to know that... Yeah, there's new guys that can uh, hit the ranks. It looks like Royal Blue setting up for a front door seal, barracks along edge. Get a solid seal with that supply depot. Gate opener for Shafir. Looks like an attack on gas as well. And this is cross map position. Refinery being tacked on. At cross maps, makes it a little bit harder for Protoss to apply pressure in the early stages of the match, but it does mean that taking that third is a little bit more defensible, theoretically. We'll see if Shafir... Shafir still hasn't sent out a scouting probe. He's actually gone scoutless to get all the minerals he possibly can. Dropping that cybernetic score before Zealot, so just wants to get an initial Dragoon out rapidly. And going to scout on 14 very, very late. And so not going to see anything because Royal Blue certainly going to have that Supply Depot seal by the time he makes his way this direction. In the meantime, Blue scouting bottom right. Initially should be... Well, we'll see if he gets into the base. Should be able to get into that base before that initial Dragoon is online. And is this going to be a cross-map scout? Actually, Shafir going for the cross-map scout. So at least in that regard, I think that was a safety play. Where it's like, oops, sent out that scout extremely late, so I need to make sure that I'm not getting proxied. Factory on the way. We'll see there's only one SCV, so it looks like it is going to be just potentially one factory into expand. Marine already blockading. That probe, actually that probe circling back around, taking some unnecessary damage. Needs to be careful it doesn't get wiped out. But that is going to confuse Royal Blue's SCV. He's like, okay, entered the base from there. Maybe that means out mind gaming himself. Maybe that means came from the left. So going for that cross position, going to pay off. Shafir holding that probe short to maybe go for a dive and check whether that natural expansion is being built or not shortly. First Dragoon out and can hold that ramp. So Royal Blue, Blue not going to be able to get the follow-up information. Range is being upgraded, so we're not seeing the skip of range to go meet it to robotics facility. We'll see if there's a second gateway plop down or if it's going to be an attempt at a Nexus. And actually, let's see if this... Is that probe going to hide? Needs to hide. Otherwise, uh, Shafir's going to keep it in range. So Royal Blue, as he makes his way across, is going to see that Nexus building... Shafir dropping that pylon. So yeah, getting just the perfect information despite the later scout. Dragoon trying to blockade that ramp is going to get the SCV kill, but all the information has more or less been provided. Probe fleeing for... Actually, the Vulture not even seen that probe. So Shafir losing that probe is not going to know what Royal Blue's up to. Knows at least that there's a Vulture making way across the map. One pylon in the way. Dragoon was trying to hunt down that Vulture, but the Vulture is sneaking out through the 6 o'clock location, so now that Dragoon going to have to blockade that ramp. And it's going to be a little bit of time before Shafir's... Ooh, let's, that probe might be dead. Yeah, probe sneaking back across. Misfire. I think that was like a full fire, not it being on the high ground. Royal Blue going to go ahead and back out in the interim. The Dragoon, let's see if Shafir does due diligence and everything shows a potential natural expansion, but let's see if he pushes up and confirms it. Range kicking online, so going to go ahead and tack away at that bunker. Spider mines being researched for Siege Tank on its way. Probes now being sent with that protective two Dragoon front. 
to deal with that Vulture if it tries to sneak back away. Royal Blue actually pushing in with the Vulture, which maybe would have been better to keep it back and preserve it for the mines there. Get a little bit of map control. First tank out, that should push the Dragoon back. If you're doing the last bit of damage, the tank sneaking out a little bit too far. You're going to go right back in, and both players switching to macro mode. Royal Blue dropping an armory and an academy immediately. Suggests we're potentially going to see that plus one, or I should say that plus two weapons, plus one armor style of play. Mines preventatively being put up front just to respect that DT play. Although it would have been a ways off. Observatory. Observer. Only one gateway for Shafir. So if Shafir wants to go for a quick third, does have the option to do so, and it looks like that is what's going to happen, seeing the lack of aggression. That's a very brave maneuver, considering that there was no scouting as well. Terran Factory being placed to bring the count to two, plus one weapons being researched, mine being dropped here at the six o'clock location. And the Dragoons fanning out to potentially engage some vultures, but both players playing more macro passively up to this stage. First Observer is going to make its way out. This is a very difficult base to defend against Vulture forays, especially in decent numbers. Vulture going to take some damage as it was making its way across. Doesn't have a mine to plant, but I think this was mostly to try to confirm that there wasn't an expansion at the 9 o'clock location. Mineral will only take instead. Observer going to see that mine, and actually I expected that observer to be more forward a little bit earlier here. Engineering being uh, bay being plopped there from Royal Blue. Does have commsat up, but not dropping commsats just yet. Still kind of sending out individual vultures kind of across the field. Looks like probe transfer. And Jafir, yeah, tacking on two additional gateways. Might is dropping Citadel of Adun. And it looks like this might be a really fast transition into Arbiter, which against that plus two... We'll see if this pays off, but right now I'm concerned that Shafir's not going to have sufficient supply if Royal Blue does go for that plus two weapons attack at this stage. Won't have the, a strong enough economy to push that. Looks like 9 o'clock base. So pylons being leveled here. 9 o'clock base being cleared, potentially. I don't think Shafir's going to go for a fourth. Still not mining gas at that natural expansion. Does have probes to do so. Citadel of Adun coming online. I'm kind of curious if we're going to see a quick push to Arbiter, if we're going to see uh, Templar Archives and double... Ooh, double Citadel. That's a... Uh, this is just nerves from Shafir. A Forge as well. And we'll see if this turns around. Oof. Yeah. There, and this is just a full-on mistake right here. I think that's just tournament nerves. Third Factory is there. Both Observers were able to sneak in to get eyes on absolutely everything. Plus one weapons just about to finish off. Still only a three factory count, which suggests Royal Blue is going to play a little bit more passively for the short term. Comsat being dropped. Oops, wrong player. So checking out the main is going to see the double Citadel. And Shafir just going to try to play it Gateway Man style. Might have some success with it. Currently with a decent supply lead. Seven gateways coming up, but also dropping that Stargate. Let's see if he realizes that there was a double Citadel rather than a Templar Archives here. Bit of waste of gas, and it might cost him, particularly if he's relying on those Arbiters in the mid-game. The three factories. Decent siege tank count here on the front. It is possible that Royal's just going to try to maybe try to seal things up, play towards a third. So Vulture sneaking out. Again, this is a very difficult to defend base, but Shafir already has some Dragoons in position, just in case. Mines being planted at exterior locations as well. Second Armory coming online. Control Tower being dropped. No plus two weapons rolling as of yet. Vultures being caught midfield. Might be able to get a free Dragoon out of this, but see if Shafir micros. Doesn't even need to. Observer's right there to go ahead and clear those mines. The rest of these Vultures trying to slip through and get something, but... Yeah, just too much, too much anti there. Too many goons. So Shafir continuing to roll is a little bit too close for comfort, honestly. And the overall count is definitely going to have Zelt leg speed. And now, yeah, realized, okay, didn't have the Templar Archives. Is dropping the Arbiter Tribunal. That's going to make that Arbiter somewhat late. 
Vulture's catching that probe that was potentially going to go for that 9 o'clock. And now Royal making moves out towards the third. I believe this is to, in fact, take the third rather than go for any sort of push. Let's see if the tanks opt to siege up. An SCV trailing. It is possible this is just a staging location, though. Vulture's moving out. It looks like the siege tanks are going to hold firm. Observer confirming that there's nothing at the 12 o'clock base. The Dragoon that's been out here forever finally going to get cleaned up, but takes a Vulture with it. And a uh, few additional troops moving up into that 9 o'clock base. I don't know how long they're going to be able to hold. What is this? Probes just wandering midfield to suicide. This is absolute nerves from Shafir. Sacrificing themselves to the Vultures. I think that was a miscontrol group. And he needed that. In the meantime, though, Royal Blue a little bit oversaturated on SCVs has not yet grabbed a third. Is tacking on that fourth, and let's see if the fifth factory comes alongside. There's the fifth factory. So yeah, wants to hit that plus two weapons, plus one armor timing. And actually grabbing a sixth factory as well, so definitely wants to filter on the pressure. The Vulture is going to be able to sneak up and deny that fourth base. And this is, again, where that Arbiter being somewhat later potentially going to hurt. We are going to have stasis, but we're not going to have... We're only going to have an Arbiter rather than two or even potentially three. Royal Blue has already grabbed that third, is going to be able to saturate pretty well. Shafir with a decent supply lead right this second. Has some shuttles out to maybe provide some additional support. Plus one weapons online, which isn't too shabby. Actually, right now, the upgrade advantage is just about even. Sending Zealots to go ahead and clear anything that might have been building. Let's see if... The, actually, ooh, that Dragoon holding up short. I think this Observer has to have confirmed that third base for Shafir. Shafir with a decent troop count, but keep in mind, this is to play Gateway Man. Dark Templar in the mix, which I like. And on the opposite field, we're going to have six factories. Critically, though, it's going to be mostly Vulture. So if he can get past the Vulture count, should be okay, because this is only one machine shop. So going to be very, very uh, Vulture-heavy as far as a follow-up. So as long as Shafir has a decent amount of Dragoons, does some good mind-dragging, there's not even a full control group of tanks out here for Royal Blue. Sorry, there's exactly a full control group out of tanks to deal with the incoming troops as plus two weapons, plus one armor comes online. Royal Blue looks like he wants to hold up. And actually, it's the intelligent play here. Hold up and go for 200-200. At three bases apiece, usually that signals a Terran advantage economically. And right now, Shafir hitting 200 supply has not yet made moves to grab a fourth. Takes sieging over that third. Looks like just now grabbing that fourth. But Royal Blue has all sorts of factories to, and maybe this is going to turn into just endless vulture forays in the mid game. And just try to play things from there. Let's see what sort of moves Shafir makes. He's got two zealots for some zealot bombs. Does have a single zealot to potentially deny this 12 o'clock location. Dark Templar as well. With some rapid mine placement, that Dark Templar could be neutralized. Looks like he's just going to comp set and wipe it out otherwise. Shafir now moving across the map. Yeah, and this is going to be critical that that he clears those mines with those observers. I don't see any observers at the forward location, though. One observer getting taken out right there. One Arbiter out, second on the way. Energy being upgraded. Plus two weapons, sorry. Yeah, plus two weapons on the way. And yeah, it's still eating more mine fire, which is actually allowing Royal Blue to even up that supply count. Shafir needs to keep that observer out in front. I don't know if he has observer speed upgraded or not, but that's going to be critical, especially considering how vulture heavy Royal Blue is going to be playing here. Some vultures sneaking to that bottom right hand base. Should be able to clean up that dragoon there. That dragoon somehow has six kills. Quite the stalwart warrior. Nine o'clock base coming online for Shafir. Is at 200 supply, but at some point needs to negate Royal Blue's army. Royal Blue able to hit close to the 200 200 mark. And as he's backing out, actually, Shafir moving in. Royal Blue now sieging. Eating turret fire on that shuttle, so it's not able to get the Zealot Bomb. Some Zealots able to make their way up. The Arbiter coming in a little bit late. 
able to stasis three units, but only one of them is a siege tank, and Shafir's army just getting obliterated as it walks into the high ground in a bit of a hodgepodge manner and ate a huge amount of mine fire across the way, and all of a sudden, Royal Blue with a huge supply lead. And let's see if he capitalizes on it. And this is where, again, having maybe two Arbiters with those two stasises there, or maybe a little bit better mine discipline, in the mid-game, Shafir might have been able to pull something out. Or maybe a few more shuttles, I'm not sure. But now, he's got that 9 o'clock base, which is not yet saturated. And a big Terran army bearing down on him. Fortunately, it looks like plus three weapons is being upgraded, but is a ways away. But Shafir, not able to engage at a critical choke point and starting to get boxed boxed in. Fortunately for him, again, it was just... So now I take it back. Two additional machine shops have been added for Royal Blue to inflate that tank count. Some vultures regrouping. Shafir trying to angle around, but again, running headlong into mines, so losing a lot of his army, or at least having a lot of his army softened up before he's even able to engage here. But at least he does have an army out to the right. Looks like he's going to try to engage some vultures. Single SCV trying to plop down a turret, maybe grab something in that right. Shafir isn't going to allow that to happen at the very least, but again, losing more troops. Supply count even. Royal Blue still holding at that north, sending out a single siege tank. I'm not sure if this is a miss rally or an intentional just checking the waters. Shafir able to angle underneath, maybe going for a base race situation. Looks like he's going to catch a lot of the, all of the probes in transfer right here. Every single one getting absolutely annihilated in that transfer. Shafir now coming, streaming in troops from the west to engage. The Zealot's able to scatter through. It looks like they are able to get on top of a handful of siege tanks. Working to that line from the north, and EMP lands a half second too late. And reinforcements cutting off the rest of those Dragoons, so siege tanks are still on the ground. Royal Blue still with a supply lead. And Shafir, out of army, has that 9 o'clock base up, but just not, ex not saturated. And you've got a base up and running for Royal Blue to take the economic lead. Royal Blue grouping up towards that 9 o'clock to go ahead and wipe that out. Some mines planted in between. Let's see if he moves the rest of that siege tank force forward. Has more or less, and more probes in transfer for Shafir getting wiped out. Yeah, definitely playing nervously and not up to his capacity. Dark Templar getting wiped out in the front was a good idea. But Royal Blue on top of it. Two Arbiters on the field. One of them has enough energy to drop a stasis. I don't know that it's going to be sufficient, though, looking at the supply difference. Arbiter moving forward, gets wiped out before it's able to drop anything. And Royal Blue now with a death grip over Shafir, nearly double the supply. Nine o'clock base is under threat. Natural expansion is threatened, but the mains mind out for Shafir. The natural expansion is thin. The third base is rolling. But in the meantime, Royal Blue's at four bases and saturating that one o'clock. So can more or less play the timer out. Looks like his natural's mind out, but can just go for straight-up exchanges. Plus three weapons has come online, which is going to make Shafir's work even harder. Dragoons peeling up, but in small numbers. Honestly, more siege tanks than Dragoons here, which spells disaster, usually. Some siege tanks, it looks like they're kind of staggered as far as their approach. The Dragoons at least able to clear back a little bit of that army. But honestly, Royal Blue could probably A-move the rest of this across has a sizable bank to work with. Some zealots making their way across. So Royal Blue actually engaging at the worst possible moment. Some mines pressing forward, drawing Shafir back. And now Royal Blue making moves. Spotting forward. And yeah, now just A moving forward. Plus two weapons, plus one armor. So decent upgrades for Shafir. But he just doesn't have the raw bulk to keep Royal Blue back. And now Royal Blue sieging up. Gonna walk. Or I guess Siege. Straight up into the 9 o'clock. Wipe that out. He can just keep those troops in place. Zealots bunched up, eating a lot of splash damage on approach. 
Lots of splash hits, taking out some Siege Shanks there. But Vultures and Goliath going to plug that gap and deal with everything in between. And Shafir's bank starting to look small, still at half the supply. One Siege Shank walks up. It looks like one Siege Shank is able to shell that Nexus from the corner. Dark Templar trying to come out to deal with that attack there. Royal Blue continuing to apply pressure and actually is going to assault two locations at once. A, a Science Vessel is also in between so that Dark Templar doesn't have much of a shot. Royal Blue grabbing an expansion that bottom right in corner, some, some Dragoons, rather than trying to reestablish that 9 o'clock, want to sneak through and take that base out. But honestly, too little too late. Dark Templar got annihilated. I don't think I even was able to... Maybe that was that probe. So SCV gets halted. Vultures and Siege Tanks moving up to assault that third, and that is going to be close to the last mining base. 132 minerals left on that patch, and nothing else. 9 o'clock base gone, and Shafir basically limping his economy along at this stage. Morzelt's pressing forward. Royal Blue just can reinforce these lines, and he will win. Dragoon's coming from that right-hand side. Looks like an okay stasis in the gap. But that plus three weapons, those vultures absolutely shredding the army. Shafir calling GG. Game one goes to Royal Blue. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.